Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. What's up boys and ghouls, children of the corn? It's your boy Sam from the Knights of War. Today we got the pleasure of coming out to uh, Pirate's Cove here in uh, Orange, California, right? Pirate's Cave. Pirate's Pirate's Cave. Cave. I don't know why I said Cove. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, Pirate's Cave. Um, we're here, um, so we have the, the blessed opportunity of interviewing uh, the, the minds behind this great event. We just got a couple quick questions for y'all. Um, so first up is what was the inspiration behind Pirate's Cave? Oh my gosh, uh, you know, it really came about, we were, we were building the haunt here and we were doing different themes and we had kind of a mix of things like Haunted Mansion stuff and some other zombie stuff and then my wife bought me uh, the pirate's wheel that's sitting at the top of our roof right now and she bought it at a thrift store and I said that would be great, let's build the whole Disney pirate at the wheel thing, you know, with that and that yeah. became our first pirate themed prop yeah. and we just kind of decided that's a great family friendly theme but also could be kind of scary too you know definitely um and so my next question is um how has this event grown since 2000 oh um it's grown quite a bit i mean in our first year was 1999 actually so this is our 20th year doing wow, it Wow, 20 and uh the first year was just me in the front yard with a shovel you know he wasn't even around yet <laughs> yeah. so it was just me and we just moved in the neighborhood and we had a lot of people come up. We got overwhelmed with candy. I was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta make this more interesting. I definitely gotta buy more candy next year. <laughs> so it's just progressively grown since then. Definitely, and what can, um, what can uh, guests expect this year uh, that's different than previous years? Oh my gosh, we almost did too much this year. We just barely got it together in time. We have, uh, you know, three new fairly large uh, effects that took a lot of time to get together and plan out. And uh, one being uh, our, uh, our, our swamp or our sea where there's, a, there's an octopus in there that comes up and attacks you. And then we've added fire effects. And uh, what, else, what was the other one? Uh, oh, we've added uh, air as well, you know, compressed air that we haven't had before. Definitely. And so how long does uh, this home haunt take to build? You know, we've, well, you want to answer that? Um, probably about like three weeks to set up, but we've been going at it since like July we've been doing making videos promoting it 
and we start in July, but we just setting up. We just started setting up like four weeks ago. And just planning it in July, we're we're beginning to plan things. Like, wouldn't it be great to have on a water effect? Wouldn't it be great to have a fire effect? So you know that those concepts start arising in July. All right. Definitely. All right, what what is each of your favorite parts of the maze? Um, Go ahead. My favorite part has to be probably this first scene. You'll see it in a second, but like. It's very like disorienting. Like you're looking at one thing and then something else happens. It just it's always my, been my favorite part. It's very cool. Yeah, you know, as I, I, I've spent some time being a magician. I know magic tricks. I've learned the the uh, concept of misdirection. So we do a lot of misdirection to scare people. You know, my favorite is actually at the front near the door. We've added the fire effect over there, and uh, that combined with a great soundtrack uh, and the video in the the entryway. Uh, gives it a good scare I believe. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So this is one of the haunts that is on the SoCal haunt list. How did you guys go about getting on that list? Um, I actually got on that list. Um, they were sending out requests like who wants to be on the haunt list in like probably about July and I said hey we want to be on the ha SoCal haunt list and it wasn't until like maybe a month ago we actually applied to be one of the people that are here giving out the haunt list here and that's going to give us a lot more attention this year. Definitely. Have you guys taken this event, like elsewhere, to like events like Midsummer Scream or anything of that sort? No, we have not done that. Yeah, we have Midsummer Scream. Did to take the event? I mean, like to oh, yeah. set it up yeah. at, at Midsummer yeah. Scream. No, we haven't done that. Jacob actually volunteered with another friend at Midsummer Scream this year. Yeah, Rose Hill Haunt. I helped him set up that year. Nice, nice. Um, and then um, last question here is: What would you guys? What would your guys' advice be for those who were aspiring to be home haunters? Uh, you know, uh, there's definitely some uh, some hot tips. Like, you know, at the at the end of Halloween, you start getting on Craigslist and offer up, and you start scooping up stuff that people might be dumping. You, you might have a whole theme of stuff that's dumping. We we picked up a ton of pirate stuff after Halloween. This guy was just sick of it. He was done. Uh, that's a great way to get stuff real cheap. You know, uh, you got to be ready to start building with the hammer and nails and cutting wood. You know, and uh, uh, you know, take it slow. Don't try to bite off more you can chew and then you get frustrated and burn out and never do it again. You take it slow and plan ahead and, and get volunteers. Get people who are excited about it, you know, feed them pizzas, take care of them, and then you can do a lot with uh, some excited volunteers. It, you add to that. It just takes blood, sweat, and tears. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh, last thing before you guys, you guys wanna plug anything in? Social media, websites? You know, we have a website, PiratesCave.com, and uh, we're also on Instagram. What's that? Um, Pirates Cave. The right. Pirates Cave. The Pirates Cave. And in Facebook is, I believe, the Pirates Cave as well. You know, so you can follow us, especially on Facebook and even more so Instagram. You can catch up what we're doing. We post the props that we're working on, the effects and, and fun things like that. So it, it's it's fun to follow us there. Yeah. Alright, thank you all. Yeah, no no problem. Thank you for coming out. Okay. So we want to give you a little uh, behind the scenes tour. Uh, talk about some of the facts and then you'll get to see them later when the haunt is actually operational. Okay. So right here is one of our uh, one of our uh, staples is the pirate coming out uh, the pirate skeleton coming out of the chest and he talks to you. You'll get to see that a little later. We've got a scrim door here. So people are lined up in this area, they're watching the pirate chest, and then at one point the lights go all out, and you'll see a, a guy standing right next to you here, and it's quite an effect when you add the audio and all the lighting. So this is what we call our squishy bridge. We started this last year, and you're going across this bridge, and, and uh, it's, it's pretty squeaky, but we also heightened it with sound effects. You'll notice we have water effects down here, and also air effects that go off at a certain time. And if you look into the garage, you'll see we have an octopus. And this is in a laser swamp water effect. And the octopus will move for you forward. And it looks like he's gonna attack you and his arms go up. And at that point, that's when the, the, the air and the water effects hit you. So it's, we're, we're making it seem like the, the octopus is grabbing your legs while you're on this bridge. Awesome, awesome. And then our doctor actually pops up from here, and then he gets his axe and he chops down the door. And this is run by a magnetic lock on the opposite side of this door that's all hooked up to our timer. So once he hits it, it all unlocks. Here, I'll show him this one. 
Okay, so this is actually a like Horror Nights inspired scare. So like we got this, we've been going to Horror Nights for a while now, and we noticed how effective these lights and action scares are. So I'll show you briefly what this one is. <laughs> so this is all activated if you want to look down here. By just a footstep right here, and that's all hooked up by our system. And this is actually was implemented last year, I think, right? Yeah. So yeah, this is the second year of this, but it's definitely effective. Oh yeah. Okay, this is a, a scary guy for a few years now. Uh, the, the people come up and they hit the button, and the door will open, and you'll see a projection down the hallway, and then the, the door closes, and then a pop-up skeleton hits you. And right after that, everything catches on fire, and there's going to be a, a scorched zombie in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the button for you. You get a taste of what it looks like. It's a little bit too light right now to get it fully appreciate. Wow. And we have a projection going. Yeah, the projection, the projection hasn't been turned on yet. And then we also have an air effect. And then that's when the fire starts and we have a scorched zombie that comes out and then tries to attack you. This is legit. And then right here, I actually have a secondary scare. Let me show you. This is run off the same system. And I have a button back here I can push. And I have a strobe light up there, all hooked up to the system back here. But yeah, I have two, two scares and one that helps out a lot. Definitely more actor spots. And then while the people are busy watching the door, Jacob switches this door. Okay, this side. Yeah, you're going on this side. To divert the people out this side so we can keep the flow going and they don't have to backtrack too far. Then they come out into the forest. So there'll be lightning effects in here and smoke. Well, this, so we, we built these trees brand new yeah, this year. Yeah. You want to go ahead? So these, these uh, trees are made out of concrete tubing and butcher paper that we crinkled up, put spray adhesive on them, and we painted them. And then we actually, these are actually real tree branches that we used up here. And they're just L brackets and then zip ties. Just holding them up there. And yeah, this is our forest scene. There's a strobe light to give a lightning up there. And we actually have a ghillie suit guy back here so hiding behind the trees. I'll pop out at you. Maybe like a shake a can or something like that. And yeah, that's the forest scene right here. And he can actually get you with this air can we have, which we can add fog in and then shoot at you. Turn on the light. Oh yeah, sorry. Let me turn on the light in here. So when we get fog in here in the light, it makes it look like a cannon. Shoots a ring of smoke at you, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's pretty wow. neat. <laughs> All righty, this is yeah. this is awesome. This is really cool. What does it take? Uh, well, one last question for the uh, actual after seeing it. What does it take something like this to uh, rehearse and get everybody like in the zone of what to do, what they need to do, where you know on cue and everything? Well, last night we had a few of our actors show up, and we ran them through their paces. We had all the effects on and we coached them. We first, I first demonstrated what I wanted to have them do, then we switched out, and we kind of coached them through their timing and their actions. And uh, also tonight we'll go over, we'll sit down with all the actors and remind them about the rules of haunting, but also what they can do in their areas to uh, you know, accentuate the, the effects and, and the scares. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to it. It looked, it looked pretty good at night, and we can't wait to see when the effects are even full blown. Yeah, we can yeah. see it with the fix. It's, it's going to be awesome. It's a different so, story. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be back later on tonight. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Get him. Yep, he's not dead. How many do we have?
have here? Two. And how many back here in this group? Five. Five. Oh my goodness. All righty. Maybe we can squeeze five. I see some of you can fit, I believe. All righty. Where are we? What city have you sailed from? Oh, our neighbors across the street. Glad to have you, but I recognize you from last year. Yes. All righty. And your name is? Sabur. Sabur. Dave. Yes. Good to see you in this one. Yara. Yara. Thanks for coming to visit us again. Follow me. Thank you. Hey, so who may be the bravest among you? <laughs> I'm pretty brave. <laughs> and what is your name? Maddie. Maddie, it is up to you then if you make it through the time tunnel. Okay. You're looking for a red button. You hit the red button and you may talk to the siren to see the captain's treasure. You got that? Sure. Alrighty. Yeah. And also, everyone in this room, you must stay in this room until instructed to leave. Okay. Welcome okay. to the Pirate's Key. Thank you. Ooh. Is there a person in here? Ladies and gentlemen, now I have not been in this video most of the time. It's mostly been Sammy here, yeah. but that is going to do it for the Pirates Cave out here in Orange, California. Thank you to the people who invited us out to this event. This is a nice little home haunt put together. Uh, this is the second home haunt we've done this season, uh, and we had a great time. It was fun. Yeah, definitely. It was a great experience. You know, we really saw that uh, they're, they're readers of the cookbook. Yeah. And they, they, they you know, cookbook. there was some great uh, John great, Murdy stuff. Some, some I, Murdy there's stuff. a lot of Horn Nights inspiration, a lot of Knots inspiration. Yeah. Uh, you could tell these guys have been doing it for nearly, they've been doing it for 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. And um, yeah, they, they just, they've been to the haunts and they, they've taken, they've kind of Frankenstein their own little haunt, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. Um, as you saw in the footage, they have a really, a lot of good iconic scenes. Like mm -hmm. from start to finish, it's just one fun area and yeah. we had even even time. in line we got we got a little slider action yeah it really brought us home at knots right there for yeah. that one and uh, yeah we really had an amazing time definitely gonna come back and check it out next year uh if you guys do go go and check it out this weekend is the only weekend for you guys to do it on halloween and, and on november 1st come yeah. check it out come give them the support drop a donation in the bucket if you guys have the extra change yeah. and they really do appreciate that so thank you again for the people at pirates cave for inviting us out letting us film with the lights on lights off for the interviews behind the scenes tour we really enjoyed it yeah. we will see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>